What up, though? Black Light. Solo Soul Soldier. Dig it. A demonic spell. Black folks in hell. Jailbirds in a cage. Feel the rage. The world is a stage. Women are not protected, elders are not respected, babies seem to be neglected, poor people are rejected, black man's infected, that's a nation injected, truth is not reflected, to live a good life you got to choose right, I say to win the fight you got to see the light, when you're walking in the dark don't be afraid, know how to behave, there are all types of soldiers in all types of wars, many of them don't even know fighting for all they fighting for the wealthy so they can gain more for imaginary bonus I fight for myself I take my own orders I got to roll out the mortar beat them harder for help to attend to thinking out loud and I'm inviting you to think with me because we're in very 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 hard times and I want you to consider how we got like this in America black people Uh, let's go all the way back. First of all, they, they say the Indians was in this land. The Indians was in this land doing their thing. All types of Indians. Uh, South America, uh, the OMAC, then uh, North, uh, North America, you know, the uh, Sioux, they was just doing their thing for thousands and thousands of years, doing their thing. All types of uh, so-called Indians. And in Africa, they were doing their thing uh, over in Africa, you know. All, you know, since Africa is a continent, and all the different countries, territories over there had different nations, different tribes, doing their thing. European, uh, in Europe, in the Caucasus Mountains, England, Spain, Germany, all that stuff mostly uh, Caucasian territory. They're doing their thing over there. For some reason they decided to, oh yeah, I forgot the Chinese and the Asians doing their thing. For thousands of years they was doing it. I don't know how long 
the Europeans or the Caucasians was doing their thing. But they go by the Bible, it goes by uh, a little over 6,000 years, 6,000 years or better, that they were doing their thing up in the, uh, Europe, in the Caucasus Mountains. Then they decided to spread out and they started to send agents to different parts of the, the planet, you know. They decided to send uh, explorers, you know, same thing, agents and explorers, same thing, to uh, go among the different inhabitants of those different lands, see how they roll, see how they do their thing. And to set up some trade with them. And so they uh, came over here, Christopher Columbus and, and his crew came over here. They uh, set up trading and whatever with them. And then they sent some uh, trade traders over in Africa. They set up trade posts over there around the, around the globe, different places. They trading with the uh, locals, you know. Locals didn't charge them no taxes. Didn't they didn't have to have no license. All they had to have was have their word was their bond. But then as they start changing up their word, tricking them. So they tricked the Africans into coming over here in 1555. Uh, And, but they put them in captivity, made slaves out of them. I'm not going to go through the horrors of them uh, making the slave trade. I'm not going to go through the horrors of them slaughtering the Indians, tricking the Indians out their land. So they pretty much, you know, got things under control. And then they setting up these little towns and setting up states. Because first they were colonies. They had a little war with the motherland, England. And for a minute they had won that war. But England won through. She said, if we can't get them through, if we can't control them, uh, you know, with these weapons, we're going to weaponize our money system and it was one man who organized and thought of that and his name was, was the Rothschild and once the Rothschild conquered England with his money system he came over here bought off the uh, Congress once he bought the Congress off and the Congress uh, put into law the Federal Reserve Act the Constitution was no longer in effect. These are foreigners came over here and over, you know, Rothschilds over in England. They came over here, overread or overrode the Constitution, and you know, did away with that. Now, before previously, before this, they had a civil war here in America concerning greenbacks, money, and the slave trade because the North had a better way of uh, enslaving the, the, the black man other than beating him and putting him in chains or whatever. They was going to finesse the black man, use psychology on him, use mental control on him because they kept him back from edu educating themselves for 400 years. Now, do you agree with me so far, black people, even white people? You know, so, because see, you own, you done took all the land from the uh, Indian, so you control all the land. You, you set up houses, you build housing, you control the housing market, you know, you control the food industry, you control 
everything so far. So when you free the slaves, the slaves come up to the north, work in industrialize the north, but they got to buy their food, clothes, and shelter from you. Some of them will help and bought their own food, clothes, and shelter. Or made their own food, clothes, and shelter. But y'all didn't like that. So y'all made sure that they, y'all got rid of a brother doing for self, you know, and if he set up a little town that he's doing for self, you, you burn it down. Or the Ku Klux Klan rolled up in there, terrorized everybody. However, you, however, you know, they couldn't do nothing for self. They had to work within your framework. In the meantime, a lot of blacks didn't never consent to being U.S. citizens. A lot of blacks did. They wanted to be U.S. citizens, like Dred Scott. But the Supreme Court turned them down. Unfortunately, they said they overturned that decision, but Dred Scott was dead. So, we're not even counting that, because it's not written inside the Constitution, you know. So, the white man never considered us legally being citizens. That's why you got a civil rights bill every 10 years. And you got the NAACP to be sort of like the referees or the uh, lawyers for the black man or representatives of, of the black man. But they ineffective. So y'all walking this through me now, do, do it seem reasonable that during the past events, Brothers getting shot down in the streets. Uh, sisters getting shot in their own house. That things are better. Black light.